Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? Got another Merza Carl Lab Manor Collector's Booster Box we're going to bust open. Uh, a lot of good cards in the set. Uh, probably won't get our money's worth out of opening this, but we are selling through the singles pretty fast at the store, so definitely don't mind restocking the singles, and nobody's really buying the collector's boxes that much, so I figure we'll open some, get some singles, try and recoup some of the investment into this set. Uh, everybody thinks it's kind of a failed set, but you know what? Everybody thinks that about every magic set. Everyone that comes out. Oh, this is a terrible set. Um, I'm passing on it. Then we look back five years later and go, oh, that was a really good set. Where can I get one? Oh, what do you mean the boxes are $500? Anyway, so we're going to open one of these and take a look to see if we get anything fancy. Uh, the last box we just opened was really good uh, for one of these. Not huge money, but oops, I think I meant the token, unless somebody else did it. Um, not huge money, but good stuff in there. We're going to start off with a Tulsa Mirror. Boo. Homicide Investigator. Hey. Eh. Merchant of Truth. Oh, double gang. Ooh, lost the maze. Ouch. All right. <laughs> that one didn't go as well. Um, <laughs> this one's starting off pretty weak here. We got nothing. We got nothing. Nothing at all. Bumble the camera because I'm just furious. No, um, it's clumsy. It's late. We worked all day. We did uh, Yu Gi Oh! and Magic tonight, and 10 people for each one. And also had Magic Commander going on. Yeah, it was. It was a lot. It was loud in there. Analyze the Pawn. Kylox. Prisoner's Dilemma. Uh, Pyrotechnic Performer seeing a lot of play. Oh, the Guild Pact. That one's uh, that one's seeing a ton of play. We're, we're just selling through these like crazy. Uh, Insidious Roots. That's a good one. Really good uncommon. That one's seeing a lot of play. Uh, and what else we got? Anything else? Anything else crazy? Uh, no. No, nothing else good. All right. Vent's been going pretty good at the store. Did an RCQ there already. And got somebody a free pass to, a free three-day pass to Dallas. Uh, we're going to do three more RCQs for the next the next season here. Prophecy Eidetic Memory. There's our first land. Apparently they forgot Mythics in this box. I haven't seen any Mythics yet. Watch for the Hours. Coveted Falcon. Treacherous Greed. That's not Mythic, is it? Uh, it doesn't look like one. Nope. I don't know these cards. No. <laughs> and a whole lot of nothing. Oh, Melonia's Rage. Decent card. Not bad. Uh, still not seeing too much play yet. We'll see what happens. Maybe when uh, the next season cycles out of standard, that one might see some play to replace a couple of the cards that are being used right now. The Parlor. Wojak Investigator. Experiment 12, Cryptix, Unyielding Gatekeeper. Holy crap, they literally forgot to put Mythics in this box. There's not a single Mythic yet. What is happening? Did I just miss one? Am I just that awful? I completely missed all the Mythics so far. Is, is, did, I, did I really miss some? Or do, are we four packs in a collector's box and not a single Mythic? Uh, looks to me like we're four packs in a collector's box without a single Mythic. This is this is embarrassing. I am embarrassed for Wizard of the Coast for this box. <laughs> Come on. Where's the thief? Uh, uh, what's this? Oh. Backwards, backwards. Yeah. Makes sense. Finally, that's a prop. Yeah, we got a lot of those, and nobody's really buying those. So, Kelp. Archmage. Arch, Arch Druid's Charm. <laughs> the other charm. Uh, pretty good card. Meticulous Archive. One of the best lands. Uh, that one's the most valuable one, I think, right now. And then our showcases and our forest. Insidious Roots again. Another good card. And what else we got? Anything? Nothing. All right. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think of this set and how well it's aging. What do you think of the Surveil Lands? Are you, have you been buying those up? Because hopefully you got into them a while ago when they were cheap. Uh, Tristani for our second Mythic. Elegant Parlor again. Nice. Uh, knowledge is power. That is true. Hill Time Explosion. Lamp Plate Phoenix. And what else? Anything? They went that way. Uh, nope. Nothing else. All right. We're halfway through the box. We got two Mythics. They're both bulk. We got more, we got more money in the rare lands than we got in our Mythics right now. And a lot more. All right. So 
Let's see if we get anything better. Distributor, analyze the pollen, panoptic projectors. I think still a couple bucks. Does it cover up the hunted bone brute? And a whole lot of other bulk. Okay. Any good comments or uncommons at least? No. No, we got nothing. We got a false shot. That's not even good artwork. <laughs> I know. It's got to fit the theme. All right. Massacre Girl. There we go. Hey, and a Vein Ripper. Two good mythics right back to back. Wow, we're building a black deck. All right. Not really. We're going to sell them. Uh, defect de defective Detective of the Month. <laughs> Steam Core Scholar. And three mythics in one pack. Really? We went like half a box with no mythics, and now we get three in one pack. It doesn't add up. That's all I'm saying. It just doesn't add up. All right. Anything? We have not been slimed yet. We would like to be slimed, but we have not been slimed yet. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? Topter. Rockets Theater. Nice. World Souls Rage. There's a good rare. True Identity. Axe Bane Ferris. He hasn't, he hasn't gotten there yet, but... I think when people start using him, they're going to realize he's good. Uh, Tulsa Mare, in standard anyway. I'd rather run Questing Beast than <laughs> any of the Eternal formats, but he's good in standard. Melly, this is not bad. This Breakout has actually got a lot of potential, I think. Uh, I might actually put that in a standard deck I'm working on. Gruel. Gruel I grow is good. All right. I did get to play standard the other night. Uh, first time in a while. And when I, when I say a while, uh, I haven't played standard in paper since 2008. So I think I was really big into the competitive standard scene here, um, doing the DCI stuff. Uh, so it's been a while. I did get to jump in a game the other night. It's pretty cool. Uh, Masquerade, Yaris. And there's another Mythic, the Nelly Borka. Another Masquerade, two in one pack. Not good. Blood Splatter Analysis. And that's all she wrote. But I actually, uh, I did pretty good on the standards. I had to borrow somebody else's deck. Uh, one of our, one of our other players had an extra deck, uh, and it would have been odd number. And I just kind of odd number of players, so somebody would have had a buy around. I just felt like playing, so I jumped in, and I really liked it. So I'm gonna probably put together a similar deck because it was a lot of fun. The Ghoul Agro there, Thundering Falls, Feather for our next uh, Mythic. The Buzz Keeper, or Buzz Crusher, and the hero that is not much of a hero. Uh, we're getting none of the good commons and uncommons. That's just not cool. All right, last pack. I picked up the Mythics in the last few packs here. Literally the first out of the box I had none. That was messed up. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I did come in second. I almost won, by the way. Arc Druid's Charm. Judith Carnage Connoisseur, Otherworldly Escort, Relive the Past, and Steam Core Scholar for a whole lot of disappointment in the last pack. Give us anything. Give us a slime. Come on. There we go. We got a slime. We've been slimed. All right. Slime Against Humanity, the most valuable common in the set, or most sets for that matter. <laughs> yeah, they can have any number of cards named Slime Against Humanity. That little word, that little sentence right there, whenever that's printed on a card, it's going to be valuable. All right, so what do we end up with? We got one, two, three, four, five, six lands, including one of the Meticulous Archives, which is the most valuable of the lands, I believe, at the moment. And then how many Mythics? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Mythics. We did get the good one, the Massacre Girl. She is one of the more valuable ones. But you know what I don't see at all? I just realized we didn't get a single Invisible Ink or a single Special Guest. What is happening here? This is a defective box. We did not get either. Not one of either. Did I miss something here? What is going on? We literally did not get a single invisible ink or a single special guest card. We're supposed to get at least one of each. Or at least two of one. We didn't get either? Oh my god, what is happening? Alright, that's, that's just wrong. It's just completely wrong. We got a guild pact. That's it. Um, yeah. So something's wrong with this box. Apparently, we did not get either a invisible ink or a special guest in this whole box. Hey, Wizards of the Coast. Um, may want to call somebody about this. 
like me and like send me another box because that was weak uh anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments below hit f in the comments for respect because this box was awful uh thank you guys so much for your time don't forget to click some of those links in the description i'm gonna need it because we didn't get any value in here aside from the lands that's just terrible where's the beef all right thank you guys we'll see you in the next one